Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Paramount Gaming. Today I want to talk about E3 and what games excited me from E3. So I'm going to pick six out of a whole list of games that I'm excited for. So without further ado, let's go talk about it. Oh yeah, before I go ahead and talk about it, I want to tell you I'm sorry for not releasing any content in the past week. Uh, it's been really, really high in degrees here and pollen's flying everywhere. I do be sweating my ass off at the sun, it's too warm. And uh, yeah, I suffer with hay fever, so my eyes are swelled out, my, my fucking nose, I do be snotting it. And you know, hay fever, plant cum, usual shit, plants blown the load all over people's faces. Uh, but yeah, anyways, without further ado, let's go talk about those six games that have me excited about the future of games. So, anyways, the first game uh, that I want to talk about was at the EA's E3 conference. Uh, EA's conference was kind of boring, it was just the usual bollocks, sports, 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 uh, this, that, this, that. Although I did like uh, Star Wars Battlefront, I wasn't a fan of the first one because it was basically multiplayer only kind of uh, situation with that. But the game that really took me away was a game by Bioware called Anthem. Now Anthem looks absolutely gorgeous. It's a new IP by the, by the company and it's by the developers, the, the, the proper team that should have been working on Mass Effect Andromeda. But they've been working on this secretly for the past while and it looks awesome. Basically. You play as a guy, uh, a guy or girl, I don't know if you get to choose between each gender, but you get to play as a character and you get in these kind of um, metal suits, kind of like Iron Man suits, and you fly around this big, open, beautiful looking world. It's absolutely mind-blowingly gorgeous. Um, and you, you can jump in, your friends can jump in, and you can explore and take down enemies. It's like over the shoulder, like kind of third person. It's really, really cool. I think you can go into first person, I can't really remember. But it looks amazing, guys. It's the most exciting thing from the EA conference uh, at E3. Now, the second game I want to talk about, I already did a reaction video to the trailer. And it was the last video. If you haven't gone to see it, go check it out. It's called The Evil Within 2. And finally, we're getting a sequel to 2014's uh, survival horror game by Shinji Mikami. The guy that gave us Resident Evil, he has his own project, uh, he works for Tango Gameworks and Tango Gameworks are basically making the Evil Within games. The first game was really really good except for some story elements were a bit like confusing here and there but the game played incredibly well. Second game looks like it's going to be absolutely incredible and the, the trailer that they showed us at E3 was really really haunting. Uh, it had like kind of like a weird kind of milky um, uh, really fancy artistic vision that that trailer had and it gave us like a cover of Duran Duran's Ordinary World and it, it was creepy and it was awesome and it even showed us a bit of gameplay at the end like fighting against bosses and a bit of stealth uh, thing at the end of the trailer so that has me really excited that's coming out in October this year uh, Friday the 13th of October so mark that in your calendars I'm really looking forward to that one and hopefully they give us another uh, limited edition uh, one because the first game had a lithograph and it had Sebastian's uh, notebook journal majigger thing. Have it there and I loved it. So anyways that's Evil Within 2 next game that came out of nowhere and it was at Bethesda's booth and that is Wolfenstein 2 the new Colossus. Now the first game was absolutely amazing it was a return to form for the Wolfenstein fans. Okay, not many people like the Wolfenstein uh, remaster or remake that was on the 360. It was kind of a flop, but now that Machine Games are in charge, they're, they're making some killer shit, man. The last Wolfenstein game and then its add-on, standalone add-on called The New Blood were absolutely amazing games. And the whole chunky feel of the gameplay, first person shooter, Jesus Christ, it was really cool. So basically the first game was set in a Nazi controlled America, you know, the Nazis won World War II and it changed everything up um, in the timeline, the history is like an alternate timeline. So um, Wolfenstein 2 is continuing on after that and you play as the protagonist for the first game which is BJ Blazkowicz and basically the Nazi army are hunting him down and he has a child or something in it and from the trailer what it showed us it was really cool because at the start it showed um, kind of like a lassie come home but with a big huge uh, big metal dog if you'd say that, but it's really, really cool. I liked it. it really cool trailer. You gotta check it out. It's really good. I'll leave uh, links to the trailers below as well if you want to go see them yourself. And the next one that really took me off guard, I was like, holy shit, this isn't like it starts off with 
Capcom, and then there's like a monster, uh, there's a guy walking around with a big huge sword on, and I was like, what is this? This can't be. No way. Not another PlayStation conference. Yes, Monster Hunter is finally coming back to PlayStation. There hasn't been a Monster Hunter since the PlayStation 2 days, and the PSP with Monster Hunter 2, uh, Monster Hunter Redeemer, wasn't it? Um, so yes, I'm very excited about Monster Hunter, and in the trailer it looked so mind-blowing, a uh, whole beautiful ecosystem, all different animals, uh, different monsters, herbivores and carnivores eating each other, and uh, you get chased uh, by a big huge T-Rex, and it, it looked amazing, and supposedly your friends can jump in and jump out whenever they want, and they can help you like track down all these big monsters and stuff like that. So. That has me very, very excited. Monster Hunter World is finally coming to PlayStation again, and I think isn't it, isn't it Nintendo Switch getting the Monster Hunter port? They're getting the the Monster Hunter that was released on the 3DS. It's getting a remaster for the Nintendo Switch, I believe. But anyways, enough about that. This is the proper Monster Hunter game that we all want. Forget the Switch one. Next game I want to talk about is Mario Odyssey. Now. Nintendo have really been pumping out some amazing content and Nintendo's E3, although it was short, it showed us some amazing shit. Like, I, I can't mention everything that in this video, but I just want to say something. Uh, Metroid Samus Returns looks amazing, uh, but the game I want to talk about from the Nintendo conference is Mario Odyssey. I know we seen it a couple months ago when the Switch was announced and we got to see actual gameplay of it now. And it looks... And it, it, it kind of looks and it kind of feels like Mario 64 just redone in whole new gen graphics. And uh, the whole hat system where you're able to like throw your hat on Bullet Bill and fly around the place. It just looks like a whole load of fun. And I was a huge fan of uh, you know Mario Galaxy and all those 3D kind of Mario games. And um, shit, this looks amazing. I, I can't wait for it. Uh, that will be out in December, I believe. It'll be out before Christmas, it's holiday this year, I can't remember, I think they gave us a date, but if you know the date, actually leave it in the comments below, or I will edit it in the end of the video here. Now, the last game I want to talk about that's that's coming out, and it's from the developers that did Spyro, and they did Ratchet and Clank, and they did Resistance, and that company is Insomniac Games. So. Insomniac Games are making a Spider-Man game. We knew about this from last time. We seen the kind of the last a trailer a while back, but we actually got to see some gameplay. And the way Spider-Man moves, this the fluidity and how he fights, and the way he uses all his webs, and it just looks amazing. It's an amazing little set piece that they had where you're like saving a crane from falling on the ground. And it's just Whoa, it looks mind-blowingly beautiful. Anything that Insomniac get their hands on, they're just going to make something really cool. And uh, didn't they do Sunset Overdrive for the Xbox? Sunset Sunset Overdrive, is that what it's called? But it's kind of like the same kind of fluidy kind of system that the same kind of engine I think it's going to run on. But uh, Spider-Man looks absolutely incredible. And there's a lot more games that I want to talk about, but... Yeah, I don't want this video to go on for way too long. What games are you excited about, guys? And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, uh, leave a like, and also, if if you're a fan of my channel, uh, hit that bell below so you can get all um, notifications on new videos coming out in the future. And I will catch you later, guys. As always, keep it powerful.